Uh, welcome to FRC Recap, where you get the breakdown and discussion on what's going on in the FRC community. Reporting for First Updates Now, I'm Tyler Olds. Uh, I'm Tegan Poles, co-hosting Fun Today, and I'm delighted to introduce our guest in the middle of your screen, Erin Mitchell. Erin uh, has just celebrated her decade anniversary with FIRST after spending time in FLL, FTC, and FRC as a participant, volunteer, and coach. She attended Iowa State and went to work at Collins Aerospace as a manufacturing engineer after graduation. And when not working with new commercial avionics, she's the CFO of Reinvented Magazine, a 501c3 nonprofit providing a magazine written for women in STEM by women in STEM, sending out over 10,000 magazines to all 50 states in the U.S. and over 18 countries in just one year. Welcome, Erin. Thank you for having me. I appreciate being on tonight. Yeah, can we talk more about Reinvented Magazine? But before we do that, let's get into our headlines. Uh, starting out, unfortunate news to start out the night with uh, from reporting from uh, Tanya Lewis uh, Blancet, who uh, known from a long time ago back in the game announcing, but unfortunate thing to hear about her, uh, seeing that the unfortunate passing of an Oklahoma first legend, Wayne Copeland, has uh, passed away. Uh, lots to say about him, but uh, you can read through the article uh, that goes through on this. And uh, Wayne was one of the few who helped make first happen in Oklahoma. He was a judge at the first championship back in 1999. And uh, a lot of people might have seen actually this video video where he's actually buddy with Steve Wozniak and uh, brought him out to talk about first and get him excited and passionate on this. So uh, to quote from the post there, uh, quote, Wayne will be dearly missed his sense of humor, his high energy for anything new and innovative, his excitement watching young people using their minds in incredible capacities at first events and his dear love for other people in uncanny ways of remembering the little things about everyone. Uh, so Wayne, thank you uh, for your service. Obviously, those in the Oklahoma area, I'm sure you know who Wayne is. And uh, thank you so much, Wayne, for what you've been able to dedicate uh, towards first. And you know, it's always uh, tragic when we hear the passing of anybody that's uh, you know been in first for a long time or in first at all. So I uh, just want to give a big shout our hearts with those at First Oklahoma and uh, hoping that, that they can help celebrate Wayne's life. For sure. And on a little bit of a lighter note, after that. Uh, question I put out to you guys, what can you buy for $100? There's a lot of Chipotle, you can get a Disney Plus subscription to watch the new Hamilton musical, or you can get a Nav X2 Micro Gen set from Kawai Labs. Uh, so the Nav X MXP mounts directly onto your Robo Rio for plug and play work or anywhere on your robot. Using an enclosure has lots of new and exciting features compared to its predecessor. So the yaw drift is now much lower with only about two degrees an hour when still uh, one when moving. And the startup time reduced only five seconds, so you don't have to wait uh, any longer for that boot up process. And there's a pitch roll accuracy increase uh, on this new model. So as a result of noise reduction due to lower, uh, newer sensor ICs and the 416 hertz Kalman filtering, velocity estimates are now much improved over previous generations. They're available for, as you see on your screen, at $96 from Animark, and they will definitely be an asset to your new robots for the upcoming year. Agreed on that one, and also agreed on that Hamilton subscription, would recommend. Um, next up, taking a look at the recent cheap Delphi threads comes a fun game that didn't get a whole lot of traction, but we want to help highlight things that get you into the first good place, named after the rad TV show. Basically, the thought process is using FRC as a foundation. What would get you into the good place and the bad place? Some comments posted include good place, zebra striped pants, and bad place, running in the pits. Good place, being polite and saying excuse me when pushing a robot cart. Bad place, screaming robot at the top of your lungs. And last up, good place, helping others because you want to and because it helps your team do better. Bad place, only helping others for chairman's clout. In the chat, we want to know what your examples are, so post them and we'll play a game later on in the show. Yeah, don't forget to take at first updates now with that. We'd love to see you uh, for those in live chat. Uh, maybe things you think about good place and bad place uh, as we go through. So, hey, guys, uh, two districts uh, this uh, weekend or this past week had uh, Chairman's Award uh, announcements and Chairman's Award winners for their districts. So uh, let's start out with the uh, Indiana district. So Indiana, New England, were the two on there starting out. Uh, we're going to give a big shout out. Uh, to our friends over at 1741 Red Alert for taking the Chairman's Award in Indiana. A uh, big shout out to Renee Becker, uh, Renee Becker Blau, uh, who is the uh, uh, Executive Director uh, over in Indiana First, or President, I forget her title, but uh, did a fantastic presentation to help uh, honor all the teams. There's a lot of great competition uh, for that as well. And congratulations, of course, to 1741 Red Alert for the Chairman's win in Indiana. And then in the New England District, 
That was very dramatic there. Sorry, guys. Uh, in the New England district, the uh, uh, Chairman's Award announced by James Lockman here. It had four fantastic winners as they go through. Uh, so starting out in New England, team number 195, the Cyber Knights, would take home their third district Chairman's Award. Uh, 3654 Tech Tigers would take home their second district championship Chairman's Award. 6328 Mechanical Advantage would take home their first district championship Chairman's Award. And then a uh, big shout out to our friends, of course, at the Neutrons. Uh, uh, 125 for their fourth in a row district championship chairman's award and fifth regional level, uh, which would be is what first considers these uh, awards. Fifth one overall. Uh, big shout out to a special shout out to our fun hosts uh, who helped uh, who are part of these teams. Of course, Christina Tia from 125 and uh, Dave from 6328 for their team's amazing successes. Great job, teams. Yeah, you guys are doing some awesome work uh, for the New England and the first community in general. Uh, next up, another conversation that popped off on Chief Delphi. A competition is a COVID breeding ground. So what are the new requirements to start competitions going to be? Chief got all over this topic, and there were definitely some spicy takes on this thread. We did come to a consensus on Chief Delphi. Uh, crazy, I know, <laughs> but definitely talking about that it's hard with teams from different locations. 14-day uh, quarantine travel restrictions in place for all. A lot of locations makes it difficult for traveling to events, and some are even saying there should be a vaccine before we should even try to start back up. Obvious one, need government approval for in-person competitions, uh, especially indoor, and when we do get together, expect to be wearing your PPE. So, if you got anyone on your team who can sew together some masks that match your team shirt, you got some time on your hands now, you got plenty of time to get started, get, uh, get to working on those. 